Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Titan Tech Pack. I'm Illusion, like always, and I believe we are on episode 8 today. So, got some cool plans for today. Hopefully, we we'll saw this thing grow. It's pretty cool. I'll pick up some berries. So, what we're going to work on today is not falling into the void. Let's just get away from that edge. Um, so between last episode and this one, I did a bunch of mining. Um, actually, I just did about almost three hours worth of mining. As you can see, I've pretty much just killed my, my hammer. Well, you can see how many blocks I've mined last night. Um, uh, also, remember I was telling you a few episodes ago, if you just put just a little bit of lapis on, you'll actually actually start getting some. So I put one piece of lapis on this, and look at how much I've got. I've actually got up to fortune two on this pick at, on this uh, hammer, which is pretty cool, without having to do really anything, just doing a couple hours of mining. And I got fortune one on that one, which I didn't do as much as with the pickaxe. This mainly cleanup work, so it's it's only gone up 17 levels. So that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see from here, this is just the first load that I've brought back of stuff, and uh, and I created a really simple system to mine. In fact, it's not even done mining. I am. Um, I just decided to log off last night before it was finished. So you can see how much I've done. So this is this is just one chunk, a 16 by 16. And then once I got down to like Y level 24, I believe, I expanded it to four chunks. So a 32 by 32 area. So the turtle's still down there. You can start to see bedrock peeking through. Um, but then I just had a transfer node on the chest to come up here. And, a, and then a uh, filter pipe to a trash can to filter out the crap that I don't want and then everything else was brought up here and I had to start blocking up some of the stuff because it was uh, getting getting a little full so I got a lot of resources to process got a fair amount of redstone so actually can increase the uh, the speed on this hammer which I definitely want to do so um, but I got enough to process right there, and I'm not going to bring this stuff over yet. I want to, what we're going to work on today is I want to create a um, semi-automatic um, or processing and sorting. And I think today is going to be a good episode for us to get into using the uh, redefined, um, it redefined relocation or something, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, sorting chest. Yeah, refined lo relocation. So this could be. I think we're going to start working on that today. Uh, I want this new mod. I want to play with, and I am um, actually have a better understanding of it now. So uh, I think we can make it go pretty easy. Alpha is still using the sag mill, and one of the cool things like about the sag mill, since I'm using this flint as a kind of a upgrade slot. Um, if I mouse over and press shift you can see how um, main output is 120% more so there's a chance of getting like three every once in a while and then you can see how much uh, iron I got out of that produces power so that's pretty cool I, I like using this thing and I've never used this for basically mainline auto um, or for processing ores so that's pretty cool so I'm gonna actually continue to smelt up and it does three at a time which is nice so I'm going to continue to kind of process some of these ores because I want to drain the power out of these so I don't waste the power and then I'm going to move these around and um, so let me get some gold cooked up because all these recipes um, they do need a fair amount of gold uh, well four pieces at least each so let me get some gold cooked up and uh, we'll start working on this so I'll be back in just a minute all right, guys, I'm back. So I grabbed all the chest and moved them out here and uh, cleaned out this little side. So now let's start on what we're going to do. In fact, I need to move you. You're going to be in the way. 
So sag mill there and out. Yeah, alloy smelter. Yeah, that's the one I want. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a extra utilities generator. If you are unfamiliar with extra utilities, please go back and watch my spotlight I did several months ago. Uh, is that enough? Yep. And I'm going to stick this guy right in that little corner there. So it should power both of these two right here. Right? Makes sense. Okay. Grab one more transfer node, and in fact, I probably need to make some more of this stuff. Grab you to there. So basically, as the sag mill finishes, hopefully this transfer node will suck it out and then stuff it into the alloy smelter. And then here, uh, come up one block. So put another transfer node to suck out of the alloy smelter and bring this up to here and this will be my input chest. Kind of like I had it the earlier day, uh, the other day, but I didn't have it set up right because that was before I added this new mod and I want to play with this new mod because I think it's kind of cool. So that's basically just how it's going to work. So I can just come drop stuff in here, all the ores will have to go into here and then as they process through, they'll be sent over here and we'll basically have a wall of chest. Uh, stored. Um, I want to get in, get into um, AE2 uh, sooner than later, but um, I think we're going to have to start making a few things before we can jump right into it, since it's a little more complicated than it was, um, and we're going to start growing stuff, because I have I have some service ports right here, but I don't have any charged ones so pretty sure I'm gonna have to need some charged ones and that's gonna have to, we have to go through the little process to get that so that's what we're gonna do this all right so all right cool so let's grab I have you know, I had one chest around here let's see how many empty chests I have right now and my chest has gotten so nasty. My volume's a little high too. Turn down my headset just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we have three. So let me grab some ingots now. That. Oh, there's another chest. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. So for our first, for our input chest. We are going to have, let me switch over to the sorting chest tab. Uh, we're just going to have a regular sorting chest, just like that. Okay, cool deal. So that's going to go here. And there's nothing special about this. Shift right click to enter the um, sorting tab, but since this is going to become the input, we're not going to set anything like that. And I also made myself an axe to move all that stuff with the uh, cobalt that we put in the smeltery last episode. Because I uh, I died and... Stupid slimes. I died and um, lost my some of my armor and my axe. So, let me jump back over here. And th that world is not running since it's not chunk loaded. So I'm going to be getting a quarry up and going since I have the diamonds and all the materials for it now. Even though it's going to be a really slow quarry, but think of it kind of as twofold. I can keep those chunks loaded uh, with the the uh, BC quarry since it's all got an automatic chunk loader in it so that way I'm actually working in this world the quarry can still work so basically that's what my dilemma is if I want to work over here I can't and have the quarry going and vice versa so I'll be happy to have that done okay excellent and you guys are both how come this one's not getting power um hmm
maybe that one fills up first? I don't know. If that one fills up first, that's going to be a problem, but I do have a solution for this. So... And these do can, can take upgrade slots, but I need to read a little bit more about upgrading them. Uh, Alright, let's get back on task. Okay, so this is going to be our input chest. Next we need another chest. Which size do you think we should do it? Um, I should do a diamond chest. Yeah, well, let's do a diamond chest. So let me grab this thing. How many diamonds do we need? Oh, I forgot already. Two. Okay. One of those. And some glass. Who knows where the glass is? Now, are you getting power now? You are. Okay. So, I wonder what that was about. Well, either way, let's get you back to work. I probably should put some sand in there first. Okay, so that's working pretty much exactly like I want it to. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but it's going to send the cobble. Oh, come on. Stop you. Well, Guess one side effect is I'll have a little extra um, smooth stand. Well, I'll be okay for now because we're not going to stick with the system for a while. Once we get some more mods to update, then uh, we'll be changing this system a lot. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. Where is my glass? Uh, I had glass around here somewhere. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. That's a crash. Okay, give me. Let me get this sorted out real quick. All right, just made a vanilla first real quick and get this sorted out. One more. It's also a good idea to press shift over things. See if you've scanned stuff. Okay, there's six. That's all I need. Alright, and okay, so we're gonna put this basically side by side and shift click on that, and this is gonna be all ingots. Basically, that's how we're gonna sort that out. Um, and maybe all dust, too. Yeah.
yeah, let's do that. So basically this is going to be my ingot chest and a dust chest, if it comes down to that. So, as I put things in here from this, like I'm going to put this in here. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Wrong button. Do not press the space bar. But I believe it worked. So yes. So since these are adjacent, they will share. They'll basically be able to communicate, if you will, and transfer down the line. And there is another block that you can use to do go in like in a corner. We call it like a connector or something. Uh, yeah, sort of connector. That's it. So that's basically what I'm going to do right here. Um, kind of keep labeling the chest as we go. So I'll cut here since it's a little bit boring, and then I'll come back and kind of explain how it works and uh, show you the kind of the finished product. So let me get back to work. Alright guys I'm back. So I spent about five or ten minutes putting this together and uh, it's actually quite cool. Um, so like I was saying, import chest. Basically anything that's in this import chest doesn't have a valid destination at this point. So it's still something needs set. Um, I have, let's see, ingots and dust here gems there and you can actually add a custom filter which I'll show you in just a second how to do um, ores here just raw ore which that shouldn't be in there Let's send that back through to get resorted this is just a still did it again I guess it's pulling an ore instead of a harvest crap oh well doesn't matter um, this is just a junk chest that I can come back and redefine. Um, what do we have here? This should be. This is just more nomadic craft seeds and junk. And this is a blocks and decorations. And then, of course, I got my two barrels. So it's really cool. So let me show you how one of the custom works. So I have a magnum cream in here. So let's add this here. So you can see the little mouse over here separate filters with a comma. So I'll just type in magma cream. I'll put. I won't put another comma. Press enter. I don't know if press enter is required. Bam. That's how you add a custom filter in here. So, as I get going with here, if I just do one of these numbers, well, I guess you got it didn't work. There's my helmet. Oh, that's because I got goggles really long. Uh, I'll leave that because I'm going to melt that down. I'll leave that there. Put this back up. And then I'll just toss things in here. And bam, they get sorted. Just as quickly as that. And basically anything left over in this chest is, um, it doesn't have an active filter. So if I can come over here, which is, I believe, a junk chest. I'll see, I see some Natura things. So if you scroll down, you can actually filter it by mod as well. So I'll just click on... Uh, let's just do all three, that's fine. So, I'll reset it. Well, it didn't get sorted, but that one... Well, oh. and then this one I was putting in the whatever chest this one, the gems chest. So I'll just do comma, certus. I don't know if I have to do the full thing. Certus quartz crystal. Well, I can do the off screen, but you get my point there. So that is really cool. Um, I know it's a little heavy on using on the iron and the uh, the gold, but to get us through until AE is up and running, then I like this system and I like that I can just uh, pipe this all together. So I just drop ores into here and it'll get filtered and sorted out. So that's really cool. So let's finish hooking this guy up. So I'm going to need another node. The transfer node. So I'm going to need a block of redstone, some more pipes. And some smooth stone. I don't know if I have any smooth stone left. Oh yeah, I do. 
not bad. Uh, redstone. Everything else that I need. Cool. So put that there. So now this system should be ready to go. So I wonder where that's going. That's going to the junk chest because I said this sorted for food as well. Cool. No problem. Um, so if we open up the ore chest and we'll see what ores need to be processed. Stick this in here. And what I can actually do with one more retrieval node. So I can actually do this. Get this out of here. Um, use some iron because I have to use a non-vanilla chest for it. Oh, they changed it. Oh. Oh. How sucky. Sorry. Right. Can improvise. And then I could take I empty this out. Yes, it is. So go get my ores. Load that guy up. There, so we have 33. 36. Yeah, totally hands off now. So let me uh, power this guy back up. So let me go um, start emptying off some of the chests from the. Uh, the other uh, mining world while I think about what we're going to do for the rest of the episode. So I'll be back in just a second. Alright, I'm back. So I finished moving everything over and you can see it's got it's got some things to work through. But otherwise it's run just fine. So I want to kind of see if I can smooth this process out or, and help it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I waited for the, that furnace generator to run out and uh, pull the block of coal out. So I'm going to make a capacitor bank from Ender I.O. So it's not too bad. So I'm going to need some copper, some gold, some redstone, and some tin looks like. So. Alright. So we're going to need a little bit of we have some nuggets? We do have some nuggets. Some of that and maybe one of you and some copper. We got some copper over there. Found that laying around somewhere. So to make a capacitor bank, we need some of these. I need some iron as well. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. So we're gonna need how many of those? So two, so we're gonna need eight of these. So that's seven. Of course. Of course. Why would I expect anything else? Alright. And then we'll do the double layer ones. What's wrong? Oh, we can make electrical steel. Ooh, how do you do that? Mm hmm. Oops. 
keep clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess let me grind up some sand. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm back. So I've got that guy going. And um, basically, what this is going to do is this is going to give me another five million RF, uh, basically battery, so that I don't have to worry about wasting any energy if this buffer is full and it can't place any more energy. So basically, this will be easier to to just set this and forget. And once the buffer's full out of here, because this has 100,000 and then plus the 5 million. So if it goes, so we got 5.1 million buffer of RF for it to kind of work through, which will help get through that big pile of stuff there. Um, oh, one other thing that I want to show you about these uh, redefined uh, relocation. So you know I sorted them all and basically tried to give destinations for most of them. I still got to sort off a few things like um, I could put a skystone filter. The grout probably shouldn't sort, but um, this clay will. So let's test it with this clay. So since they're all interconnected, if I put this clay in the wrong chest, It'll automatically take it and send it to the right chest, which went to the junk chest. Um, since I have to set this for uh, just a little bit of everything. So that's pretty cool. So no matter what chest you put it in, it'll automatically send it to the right place and get it sorted correctly. So cool. I like that a lot. Um, grab my chisel. Where are you? I fill in that wall, fill in that hole in the wall. There we go. I wonder which ones I used. Aligned. That didn't look right, does it? Maybe that's the maybe that's the right one. Yeah, I think that's right. Nope, it's not. Nice try. Honestly, the easiest way to do that is to go pop that right off with a panel. With panel, with light panel. Oh, come on. I don't even remember. There it is. And that was a brick. Cool. So I like the chisel mod. It's a good way to make your crappy uh, cobble house look not so crappy. Cool. Let's, let's clean that up. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much good for this episode. We got a fair amount accomplished, got everything kind of streamlined, and um, I mean, we're pretty good on resources for, for a good while. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's just, everything's just running just right on, right on cue, and um, one of the next things I want to work on, let me grab my Thumb Nomicon. Should be in here is uh, Golomancy. Um, I did some research for the Golomancy already, and what I've been thinking about using, probably use the wooden golem since I, I guess I could get maybe a, one of the other ones, but what I've been thinking about doing is using the golems to get myself a tree farm and to start maybe working on some of these pneumatic craft plants. 
since I want to have a drone. I think a cool thing to do, and I don't know how hard it's going to be, is maybe to have a drone that basically does the coring for me. I don't know how fast it's going to be, but and it might have a little bit of a cool factor to it as well. So we'll have to see what how involved that is. Um, so we might start working on that, and I may actually, since we have forestry installed, I may do have a golem set up a tree farm for me, so that way I can use um, um, one of the worlds I was in. I discovered a fair amount of appetite, and actually I brought back all the appetite I could um, before I run out of room in the uh, in my inventory space. So, cool. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you enjoy this episode. Let me know if you have any comments. Hopefully you got the little introduction to uh, refined relocation which I hope to do a spotlight in the uh, near future on because it's kind of a cool mod and uh, um, I've only shown you about half of it so thanks again I'll see you on the next